Hello, I'm your Kingdom Spiritual Transformational and Life Purpose Life Coach and Mentor Latricia Booker. And we are here to be empowered, to heal, to get delivered, and to get free. We know who we are. We elevate our minds and our spirits and raise and expand our consciousness to ultimately walk in our true divine purpose and power. And that is the truth of who God has created us to be. Kingdom people, we are history makers, we are real changers, we are dream successors, we are wealth generators. We are manifestors, we are curse breakers, and we most definitely are transformers more than meets the eye. Yeah, kingdom people, we are. Kingdom people, thank you so very much for viewing my videos. Thank you for the likes, subscribe, shares, all your comments and feedback, for all your financial contributions to my channel, for all the seeds that you sow into me in my ministry, for all of your purchases and for all of your bookings. Kingdom people, thank you. Thank you, kingdom people. And so, yes, kingdom people, I am on location and I am here so we can break these chains. Are y'all ready to elevate? Are you ready to activate? Let's go, kingdom people. So, I need to take me a little drinky drink. <laughs> I'm very thirsty, kingdom people. Excuse me. I'm drinking iced tea today, iced green tea today from Dunkin'. And this is my water. Just had to take a little, get a little drink. Because I was getting thirsty. <laughs> so anyhow, came the people. They have been compromised. They have been compromised. They have been compromised. This is something that God has been speaking to me over the last week. This week. Today is Friday. <laughs> And so, came to people. Some people are already operate, have already been operating in unclean spirits, and or just have issues, underlying issues that have never been dealt with, traumas that they never hear from. You know, people have this thing where, you know, and it's it's very common where people go through things in life, very traumatic experiences. And they never heal, for, heal from them. They just go on with life. And the thing is, just because you move on with life don't mean that those things are cleared up. You have to, on purpose, clear those things up. You got to face those things. You have to deal with them. You have, And I'm hearing therapy. Sometimes therapy helps, you know, helps with your healing process and things of that nature. And so what happens is when people don't properly deal with these things, you know, those issues are still there and entities attach themselves to them and they become unclean spirits. And it also happens when they're seeing there, you know, it happens too when they're not, people are not letting God lead them. You know, for instance, if God tells someone, lead someone to, let's just say, move to um, Oklahoma and they don't do it. That's disobedience. And what happens is when people are consistently, constantly in disobedience, you know, they develop unclean spirits. And when people are tied to certain people that have unclean spirits, they develop unclean spirits. And sometimes they already had their own. So it just compounds, you know. And then some people develop them or develop them further because they're involved in situations or around people in a place where they allow certain things to go on and happen that they shouldn't be allowing and or condoning it or enabling it you know it's that thing too again where you become a partaker of whatever is happening and so when people do these things god has said they have been compromised they're compromised and when you're you know, connected to people or mingling with people, or engaging with people or having a relationship with people that you know are operating in demonic, you know, have those demonic unclean spirits. And I'm just here operating in, in, in witchcraft, you know, when you know that people have that. And sometimes God, again, would tell people to remove themselves from people and or just where it's the same thing within a spirit they know they should but because of codependency because of familiarity sometimes because of guilt 
the, because of being afraid of the unknown, if they don't continue to do what they've known to do, they continue with things that they probably shouldn't be. And specifically, especially if God has said, let those things go, let certain people go or handle them in a different way. You know, don't have such a close relationship or whatever the case may be. So what happens when people do these things, they become compromised. And the thing is this, God will allow certain things to go on so long because there's sometimes a cutoff time. Shouts out to you, Miss Shelley. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a cutoff time. And, and, and let me give you an example. You may have been around certain people and... You know, over time, you begin to see certain things with these people. You know they had certain things going on. There may have been some underhanded trying to, you know, knock you, make you feel away. You know, all those attempts to just pull you down, so to speak. And you may have tolerated it for some time. But it came a point where you knew you couldn't do that anymore. You know, whether it be just you or rather it be God, or rather it be the both of you, just in agreement with, uh-uh, you know, because, you know, it's enough is enough. You get to that place, and that is the cutoff time. Now, once the cutoff time has happened for, for you, like when you have a cutoff time, and the people that you have had to cut yourselves off from continue in whatever things that they're doing even where it doesn't concern you but just in their lives they're further crump they're compromising themselves they're still operating and doing the things that are not pleasing to god and or those things that god may have been dealing with them with and or <laughs> they just know they shouldn't they just continuously going in a way that god is saying no so You've removed yourself, and what's hap what happens is when you remove yourself, they're further compromised if they don't straighten up, so to speak. And the other way of that is they compromise themselves outside of you by, again, being involved in things, activities, and with people that don't serve them, that are compromised themselves. Or they may be the compromiser. In other words, someone who proactively compromises people. In other words, they are um, an agent of Satan on purpose. They are here and planning here to destroy people, to keep people from moving forward in the things of God. And again, if you know that this is the case with someone and you know people operate in this kind of a spirit and you continue to engage them, you are now compromising yourself and so king the people some of them ones you know that have played the role of your enemy and some maybe not so much but because they have been compromised they are compromised they have been compromised let me see if i can make that make sense we already knew they were compromised because we knew they were operating in an unclean spirit. We knew how they were handling themselves with us. We could see those spirits in them. We saw, we knew, we experienced it. We knew they were already compromised because of what was in them. And so when they go on and don't do the work that needs to be done so they won't be compromised, in other words, get free, get delivered, and they attach themselves to someone else or continue to be attached to someone who's there who either is compromised to or is there to compromise them. And I'm just hearing knowingly because sometimes people know that this is what's happening, not understanding they're compromised. They're compromising themselves. And so they, are, they have been compromised. And many people are experiencing, I just heard a drought. I wasn't going to say that, but that's what I heard. What I want to say is not pleasant in their lives. It's not pleasant in their soul. It's not pleasant in their spirit. I'm hearing it is not well with thee. <laughs> it's not well with them. And that's because they have been compromised. When you have been compromised and when you're compromising yourself, because now many of these people, they're at a point that they're willingly compromising themselves, whether they see it as that or not. That's what they're doing. 
but the point is they have been compromised and you can see it now for you you already know this king of people but be mindful of that because you don't want to comprom compromise yourself by being around someone who has been compromised and or who is a compromiser and they have been compromised because if you a compromiser you there to compromise other people clearly you're being compromised because you work for satan <laughs> so oh that's not funny but you get what i'm saying um so came the people psalms 119 and one two two three <laughs> I ain't being compromised, King the people. I ain't being compromised. Psalms 119, they wish. They tried. <laughs> to no avail. <laughs> Psalms 119 and 1 through 3 says, Joyful are people with integrity. That's you, King the people, who follow the instructions of the Lord. That's you, King the people. Joyful are those who obey his laws and search for him with all their hearts that's you kingdom people they do not compromise with evil and they walk only in his paths kingdom people that's you you don't compromise yourself you don't compromise yourself with evil again when you know someone is operating in the evil spirit you know what it is god you didn't experience it god then showed you showed you what it is and you continue to mingle with them that's compromising yourself. You don't do that. It says they do not compromise with evil. And they walk only in his path. You walk in God's path. You allow God to lead you. You only engage yourselves in activities and deal with people that are also walking only in his path. I mean, you come to that. You know, of course, over time we learn that. And God starts to pull us away from certain things, places, people, and all that. Because he doesn't want us to be compromised or further compromised. But for us, it's always part of God's plan, learning, developing, and learning this. Learning these spirits. We had to experience them so we could learn them. And they were there to help to develop us, to overcome. You know, they were trying to stop us, but God was using them to elevate us. But anyway, that's another thing. The point here is this, King of People. You don't compromise yourself you don't compromise with evil you walk in the ways of god but these ones they compromise with evil they try to find a way to work it out with whoever the evil people or the people they know operating these unclean demonic spirits they go along with things because i guess in some ways they think it's okay you know but it goes deeper than that because as i said some of these people are just very, I hate to say this, but I'm hearing weak and codependent. They don't know how to stand on their own. They need people. They need people more than they need God. And I say that based on the way they operate because they're compromising themselves. So Revelation 2 and 20 says, but I have this complaint against you. You are permitting that woman, that Jezebel, who calls herself a prophet, to lead my servants astray. She teaches them to commit sexual sin and to eat food offered to idols. And so this scripture is just speaking. It says, it starts off to say, I have this complaint against you. And so it's speaking of this Jezebel and, you know, the woman in the scriptures that she was a Jezebel. She led people astray. Um, it says here she even called herself a prophet and here's the thing it goes back to when people know who people are and what they are and the spirit they operate in and they okay with it and they go along with it they compromising themselves again they might already be compromised but they further compromise themselves when they do that knowingly knowing that that's you know king the people this is what I'm getting to their compromise has elevated you may be noticing people or you will notice people. You know already they kind of compromise. You may even have hope for these people. You may be praying for these people, praying for their deliverance, praying for their healing, praying that God will, you know, praying that God's perfect will will be done in their life. You have hope for these people. But you may notice or be noticing or will notice something is different, something going on, something is not right 
you see it, you sensed it, like this is not this person. That's because they have been further compromised. They have been further compromised because they still engage and mingle in things that they shouldn't, basically. Especially if they consider themselves a child of God and um well yeah especially if they consider themselves a child of god because if you're a child of god you're supposed to walk with god you're not supposed to compromise you know again as time go on and on god elevates us more and more he pulls us away from certain things he don't do it all at one time we're con continuously yielding to him and surrendering to him at the right time when he says when he sees fit it don't all happen for us all at once but as time goes on god is dealing with other people just as he deals with you kind of people but everyone is not listening i'm here listening to the call that's why many are called and few are chosen everybody doesn't answer they don't you know do the things god is calling them to do telling them to do they compromise they even try to compromise with god you know, it's kind of like God might say, um, I want you to, <laughs> I'm going to use a, a, a simple example. I had one that was a bit extreme. Let's say God tells you to move to Florida and you say, no, no, I'm going to move to California. You compromising yourself because God said, Florida, you're not doing what he's telling you to do right there. You're being compromised because you're not following his lead. So, king the people, I'm saying that to say disobedience is you compromising yourself. Further different di disobedience is further compromising yourself. Not you per se, but the ones that do this. Engaging with people that have been compromised and God is showing you what and who they are. And maybe even be saying you need to move around them and you continue with them. They've been compromised. They're compromising themselves. And you will begin to see if you are aware, you know, as I said, people you may know that you can know that this is happening with. You will see the compromise. You will see it in their behavior. And what do I mean by that? You will know because you will know they're off. And then you will know because this is how it happened for me. They've been compromised. Disobedience is a form of compromising yourself. You're putting yourself in a compromising position. When God say go, he mean go. When God say yo, he mean yo. <laughs> when God say do, he mean do. He mean what he say. He mean what he say. But when you don't go with what he say, you compromise yourself. King of people, they have been compromised. Beware. And that's all I have to say about that. If you like this video and or if it resonates with you, please just go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Then click on that red subscribe button and subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so. Thank you. Also, click on that bell right next to that red subscribe button so that you can get a notification every time I upload a new video. Something like this one, King of People. Also, if you are interested in any of the services that I presently offer, if you would like to listen to my podcast show, if you would like to sow a seed into me and my ministry, if you would like to follow me on any of my other social medias, all that information is right down below in the description box. King of Paper, I am still offering, I think I'm going to just continue this. This is how I'm feeling, how I'm being led to... I'm um, offer you a life coaching package that fits your budget and your needs. We can work on a life coaching package that fits your budget and needs. Any of you who are, you know, um, desiring to obtain my life coaching services. So, came to people, I love y'all so very much. You all know I don't want to leave you, but I do have to go right now, but I will be back to hold my kingdom people down. Now, kind of people, with that being said, much love, light, and peace, and many blessings to you all. Above all else, let the Holy Spirit lead you in all things at all times. Don't compromise. Kingdom people, we are unmovable, we are untouchable, we are unshakable, and we are unstoppable. That is my time. Jesus, girl, is out. Peace.